Hello, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see date-related functions and arithmetic on dates. Dates are very important features in every business application because a lot of business logics are implemented based on the date of the records. The standard function DATE returns the current system date. The standard function time returns the current time. Now returns the date and timestamp. So let us execute this function. So the date is 3-19-2013. This is an MMDDYY format. The time is 5 colon 48 colon 45. This is in the AM PM format. When you say it now, it gives the date as well as the time in AM PM format. Now, if I want to get only the date, the day portion or the year portion, right? So there are again, right? Pretty much like you do the string extraction and character extraction functions within the date you can start extracting the month year date etc etc let us see how to do extract the values from the date values let us look at this function month of the current date it will give you the current month when you say year of the current date it will return the year day of the date so you can extract the respective components from the DD or the MMDDYY format. Now let us execute this. The current month is 3, which is March. Then the year, sorry, I should have given the message year. The day is 19. Okay. I forgot to give this portion changed. Let me do that. Let me execute once again. The month is 3. Year is 2013. The day is 19. So this is something like you extract the components of the date same way you can extract the hours and minutes also from the time let us do that if you see here pretty much like we did uh, month extraction of from the date we are doing get me the hour from the current time get me the minute from the current time get me the seconds from the current time let us execute this if you see here, hour is 17. Instead of AM PM format, it is giving in 24 hour formats, which is one way good. Now the minutes is 5, uh, 53, seconds is 4 seconds. So you can extract the individual hour or minute or second component from the current time. Now these are all like getting the system date system time and then extracting the components of those things. Now I want to do some date arithmetic. Add some x days to the current date. Get me the difference between two dates. You don't have to write code. There are built-in functions available in VBScript. Let us go through that. Look at this function. Date add. This is one of the very important functions in date arithmetic in VBScript. This has got three parameters first parameter is the interval indicator D stands for we are going to add some days how many days I want to add 15 days then the third parameter to what date it can be current date or you can give any date in dd dash mon dash yyyy format now I'm saying add 15 days to this date now let us execute this see what happens so 15 days to 1st of Jan is 16th Jan which is good now let us do the same thing add 45 days to 1st Jan it is 15th February you can also do add months let us say add 8 months to 1st January let us execute it says 9 1 2013 so right now the mo the way you change the interval indicator so the interval indicators are typically like uh, m for month 
then D for days, YYYY stands for the year. Then we can also add hours, add X number of hours, add second, say 500 hours to this date. Let us try that out. Look at this. Now I am adding 48 hours to this date. So you, the indicator is H, 48 hours. You know it is two days. So it should be 3rd Jan. Let us execute this. So it is 1-3-2003 with this 3rd Jan in MMDD YY format. So depending upon the indicator and the value, he does all the arithmetic. So M, if it is the indicator, it is for month, D for days, YY, YY for years, H for hours, N, N for Nancy, N stands for the minutes, because if you do, you cannot use M, M already stands for month, S for seconds. So you can add these indicators and then X number of days to that. Now, let us do one thing. Let us try this one. Uh, say minus 48. Let us see what happens. It says 12, 30, 2012. That means if you give negative parameters, it will go back to the history in the past. If you give positive values, it will go to the future. So the date add, depending upon whether you give positive values or negative values, it will either go to the past or will go to the future. So this date add is one important arithmetic function. Same way, if we want to find the difference between two dates, there is another function. Let us do that. Look at this function, date diff. Again, it has got three parameters. First parameter is the indicator. As we have seen, D for days, M for months, Y, Y, Y for four years. You can give hours also. Date 1 and then date 2. So it will give the difference between this date and this date in days. So let us find out how many days are there between this and this. 1st March 2013 and 1st uh, February 2013. It's saying minus 28. That means he is taking this as the primary date, this as the this minus this. Now if I reverse this, let us say 1st February 2013 and then 1st March 2013, let us execute, it becomes positive. So it is second date minus first date. Now if I want to get what is the difference in terms of hours, so let us execute this. It says 672 hours. So you can get the difference between two dates in terms of days, months, or hours, or minutes, or seconds. These are the values will be ultimately used in uh, business applications. For example, uh, if a bank deposit is growing at an interest rate of say 20% per year, in, in let us say in 380 days, how much of interest it would have got. So if I want to find out the difference between current date and the original deposit date, then I need to use this date arithmetic. So date functions are like, uh, it is heavily used in business applications, especially financial applications. The important functions are the date, time, and the date arithmetic, date add, and date diff. With that, we end this session here. Thank you.